In this video, let's learn about the merge join. One difference between this and the nested loop join is that in a merge join, both input operators are executed only one time. Another difference in the merge join requires an equality operator and its input, now this is important, and its input be sorted on the join predicate. So in our example, I've created two tables inserted some data and added a non-clustered index to the ID column of each table, thus forcing the sort order of both tables ID column. Because both join inputs are sorted on the join predicate, the merge join simultaneously reads a row from each input and compares them. If the rows match, they are returned. If the rows do not match, a similar value can be discarded because both inputs are sorted. The discarded row will not match any other row on the other input table. This process continues until one of the tables is completed. Even if there are rows on the other table, they will clearly not match the rows on a fully scanned table, so there is no need to continue. Since both tables can potentially be scanned, the maximum cost of the merge join is the sum of both of those inputs. Now, the key here is obviously the sort order of the inputs. If they aren't sorted, the optimizer will probably not choose a merge join. 